I also got this to complement my copy of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I've only just started playing it, the first one at least. Very awesome, highly recommend picking it up. It's also available on Xbox One if you happen to have that. So yeah, Spyro is now available for Microsoft players as well. Okay, so first I just want to cover the aesthetics here. Um, it's designed in the shape of a jewel crate, which you will find very common in the Spyro games. You'll come across a lot of these. Obviously, you want to breathe fire on them and then jump into the gem and pick it up and then the crate will smash. I forgot about that and I learned that the hard way in the first level. Uh, damn you artisans. Anyway, I've gone to liberty of taking the top off already, but I haven't actually looked inside properly, so here we go. Taking the lid off. Wow, here we go. So that's pretty much what you get. You get the thermal mug. So you get the thermal mug that changes colour, you get the pin which you can put on clothing or just keep as a keepsake. A lanyard, which is good for putting stuff on, I guess. A Born to Glide wallet, which is kind of cool. And the Snapback hat, which a lot of people like. So that's pretty much it for the box, but I'm actually going to show you the items properly. So if I take... Oh, got to be careful here. Start with the cup. Spyro on one side. If we turn it the other way, we have a picture of Spyro. You can't really see this properly, but if you put... Uh, a hot liquid in there like a coffee or something or tea for the more British among you then you'll probably know that the color changes and it goes like an orangey tint which is quite cool there and we've got the pin just give you a close-up look at that it's purple it's silver it's bitchin what more can we say it has a backing pin on it so you can put it on clothing as I said lanyards kind of boring I guess but you know cool collector thing I guess the wallet would be exactly what you'd expect kind of leather-esque effect with Born to Glide written on it, nothing on the back, but if we open it, we get the cool diamond inside. It's empty, don't worry, I'm not putting any of my details in that. And then obviously, finally, we have the snapback hat. I don't really wear snapbacks anymore, I used to, some of you know, my game was pretty tight to be fair. That may be the least whitest thing I've ever said. Anyway, just ignore me, I'm still ill, apologies for the festive times, but there we go. So guys, there you have it, that's the Spyro Limited Edition Gear Crate. You don't get the game, I just thought I'd include that in this final signing off, but it's a short video, but I figured I'd do it, because it gives me a chance to shoot this and edit it when I can over the holidays, because as most of you know, my time is not as free as it once was, which is understandably so, but there we go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating, whoever you are, whatever you do, please don't try this at home. What the hell am I saying? I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.